Hi there, this is Ryan Malloy here at the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. In this video, we are going to discuss techniques for division. Let's suppose that we wanted to divide 9 into 280. A natural question before we even begin is, will this result in a single number that we can multiply 9 by in order to get 280? Or will there be a remainder at the end of the problem? And one quick and easy way to determine that right off the bat is the use of divisibility rules. Now, every number has a different divisibility rule associated with it. For example, if you want to check if 2 can go into a number such as 88, one simply needs to look at the last digit. If the last digit is even, then 88 is divisible by 2, which it is. For 5, for example, one simply has to look at the very last digit again. And if it's a 0 or a 5, then the number is divisible by 5. And in this case, the divisibility rule for 9 is if you add up all of the digits individually, 2 plus 8 plus 0, in this case we get 10. If that number is divisible by 9, then the original number is divisible by 9. In this case, it's not. And in fact, you can repeat this process iteratively until you get a small enough answer that you can evaluate it just by inspection. So here, we're going to have to do long division and we'll get a remainder. So first what we want to do is ask, how many times does 9 go into 2? Well, it doesn't go into 2, so we'll skip over to the next one. How many times does 9 go into 28? The answer is 3. So we'll multiply 3 by 9, write 27 down here to figure out what's left over. 28 minus 27 is 1. Now let's bring down their other digit. The question is, how many times does 9 go into 10? Just once. Now we multiply 9 times 1, get 9 again, subtract, we get 1. And since we've reached the end of our number, this is our remainder. And if you want, you can double check that this is the correct answer by multiplying through. 9 times 31 is 279. Add the remainder, and you get 280. My name is Ryan Malloy, and we've just discussed techniques for division.